been sitting up there and told their women, stop dealing with your men like that. Deal with them better. What's that? My back? That's a, you know that's a God, sis? You don't hear God? You know that? Let's get, let's get it out of, out of God's mouth. That's a God standing up for you. Though he's in man's flesh, the spirit of him is a, is a God. And one day the whole world going to know it. Okay, and one day he's going to make the world know it. I understand what you're saying. You understand? Yeah. But we don't, we don't walk around like God's. Because we don't yeah. deal with our sisters right. We don't deal with our babies yeah. right. We don't deal with right. our people right. Yeah. Gods take responsibility. You not leaders. just are, you're not just they're, they're leaders. Leaders. Men take responsibility. Right. Yeah. And that's something that our people do. That's why I'm dealing with you more so. Because yeah. I see myself in you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I see a leader in you. You young enough to where people you look okay. like a brother that people okay. might look up to. Okay. That might follow. If you stop liking the, the nonsense, somebody may not be everybody, because our people retarded as hell. Okay. But somebody may see your action and be like, you know what? I gotta I got stop this because you might be somebody role model, man. You understand? Read it again. I understand. Yeah, yeah. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are God. God said you gods because you are the Israelites. The word Israel means prince who has power with God and has prevailed. If you are a prince of God, what does that make you? That makes you a God. Right. A prince of God is a son of God. Yes. A son of God is a... That's it. So, so if you made an image of God, and spoiler alert, you are the only people made an image of God. Right. Everybody ain't made that. God don't look like everybody. God look man, like you. A black man. We gonna get that. We gonna prove. It. I'm gonna prove everything I say out of the Bible. Read it again. I have said, ye are gods, right. and all of you are children of the Most High. You gods, cause you children of God. You are princes of the powers with God. You are Israelites. Read. Right? But ye shall die like men. But why we die like men? Cause God gave His Son, His badass little children, laws. And his badass children broke those laws, so God killed his own children. Just like if you have a son, you tell your son, hey son, don't don't eat them cupcakes. You ain't gonna kill your son, cause you ain't God. You just a man. And well, you a God in manly flesh. But when God whoop a tail, people die. Cause God, God not gonna come out of the sky with a belt and just whoop all our tail. He gonna put us in slavery and put some of us to death. That's a godly ass whooping. That's what that is. That's what that, that's an almighty ass whooping. That's what that is. Ah. But you, but if your son do something wrong, you gonna take him, you gonna ride him, ride him oh, up, God. and whip his tail in a circle, and have him go to his room. Uh, 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 uh. That's what you gonna do. Why? Cause you love him. You don't hate him to do that to him. He didn't listen to his father. Right. That's what happened. Read it again. I have said, ye are gods. Uh -huh. All of you are children of the Most High. Right. But ye shall die like men. But we die like men because we broke the commandments of God. Right. We sinned against our God, so we die like mere mortals. We die like mere men. We descendants of kings like David, kings like Solomon. Christ is from our lineage. Right. Isaiah is from our lineage. Ezekiel is from our lineage. How many is it? How many commandments? It's over 613. I'm gonna give you some. I think Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I'm gonna give you some commandments because we're we going around a bunch of stuff. The point is. We the people of the book, God is only our God, and in order to get blessings from our God, we gotta start doing what our Father requires of us. Uh, hold that, give me uh, Joel 2.27. First, then we gonna jump there, right? Just to prove that God is only dealing with us. Only us. That's why we the only ones, that's why we the only ones that get this. That's why we the only ones that get this. No other race of people got this. Name one other race of people that got this. No other race of people got this godly behind woman. So how was God dealing with us all equally? If God was dealing with us all equally, would not the white man's history be this? Right. Would not the Arab man's history? No, well, spoiler alert, the Arab man had you in slavery too. And something right. called the sub-Saharan slave trade. Yeah. For over a thousand years, the Arab man, Muhammad, had you behind in slavery. That's common history. So we sit up here and look at white people like they just a problem because they enslaved us. The Arab man, Muhammad in the damn bodega or whatever store, that's sitting up there. My brother, my brother. He put you behind in slavery too and taught you Islam. Right. You're not a Muslim neither. That's why people walk around here bugged out talking about some Salaam Salam. Negro, you not a Muslim. Muslims beat your behind like the white man beat your behind for longer than the white man beat your behind. They still beating your behind over there in Mauritania to this day in Assyria. Right. To this day they whooping your behind like that. But our people don't, our people don't watch the news, we don't read, we don't care. Cause it ain't happening to us right now. Right? Read. This is the book. Everybody sleep. 
Read. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. The Bible says that God will let you know that he's in the midst of Israel. These people, the sons of God, read. And that I am the Lord your God. And that I am the Lord your God. Not everybody's God. The Lord your God, Israel, read. And none else. And who else? And none else. That's a very racist statement for God to make. Why don't Christian pastors read that? Somebody right, that's, that's a father that says, hold on, lest my children think I hate them because I got to put them through this whooping. No, 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 let me assure them. Though I got to punish you, I am your God and nobody else's God. Right. Nobody else has got, nobody can call themselves princes of God but us. Now, the sister asked about a law, right? Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5, because she's breaking the law right now that she got to stop breaking. Or, or she might get judged for it. Read Deuteronomy 22 and 5. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Let me ask you a question, brother. What kind of clothes do you wear? Do you wear dresses, skirts? <laughs> all phrases, all phrases, right? You should say it like that, right? What kind of clothes you wear? Huh? Man clothes, like what? Give me something. What's that? What? Tell me. Pants. Pants, right? That's all I was thinking about. Pants, right? Pants. That's it. That's what you wear, right? It's a zipper in the front of those pants, right? Why? Because the specific genitalia you and I have. Do she got that same genitalia? Read it. Remember. All this happened because breaking laws. This is a law. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman should not wear what belongs to a man. Read. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's clothing, like a dress, or a skirt, or a brassiere, or pantyhose. Or her shoes. Well, right. And guess what? Read the top part. This for you, sis. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What's that, sis? If he can't wear dresses and skirts and bras, what can't you wear that he wears? Can't wear his underwear. Okay, that's one thing. Pants. Pants, sis. Yeah. So what do you wear, sis? <laughs> mm. It got personal, didn't it? But guess what? Your God said you ain't supposed to do that. You're a princess right. of God. We die because of, it sounds crazy, okay. we die because of wearing pants. But guess what? God said don't do it. We supposed to wear dresses. You supposed to wear dresses. When you go to the bathroom, sis, how you know the woman bathroom? Yeah. What's she wearing? Because she wearing a dress. She ain't wearing pants. That's common sense. How you know the male bathroom? Because he wearing pants. That's it. But it's God said, like don't do it. God said, read. Read the bottom part. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So men can't wear dresses. Women can't wear pants, sis. Read. For all that do so. Or uh, abomination unto the Lord thy God. You know what an abomination is? Sirach 15 and 13. Something that is so detestable, it damn near will make you throw up in your mouth. God says a woman wearing pants is detestable the way he would throw up in his mouth. A man wearing a dress is detestable to where God would throw up in his mouth. He said it's an abomination to him. And so much so that he did this to us for doing it. Read what you got? So I yeah, 13. This? Remember, he said this slavery, okay, so death to our race of people. Okay, this Read. Is the, death thing. the book of Sirach, chapter 15 and verse 13. Remember, he yeah. said, All that do so, all that cross dress, you listening? All that cross dress are an abomination to him. Read. The Lord hateth all abomination. The Bible says God hates all abomination. So what that mean? God hates you wearing pants. Right. God hates men wearing dresses and skirts. God hates that thing. So much so that he did this to you for doing that thing. Because what comes with you wearing pants? A masculine spirit. That's why women so bugged the hell out. They bucking on men now. That's why these men sitting up here girly as hell today. Because they wearing dresses. They, these, these men, these, they are. These men is fruit daisy today. Women's army. Women's men, army. men, men ain't men ain't men today. Men are girls, and guess and guess what? Exactly, because men are girls and women are men. Women sitting up there bucking up, beating their chest, talking about fighting, and men holding in the background with purses and satchels and dresses and skirts. And guess what? They acting real fugazi and soft, and women acting real brazen and bold, bold and brazen and strong as a masculine trait. Not a feminine trait, soft, quiet, 
and peaceable is a feminine trait because men are built for war. Women ain't built for war. I know we like to think because we watch uh, uh, Wonder Woman. I know because we watch Wonder Woman, we watch Avengers Endgame, and we see the girls kick tail. We all want to think, you know, we could do that. And look, man, I ain't gonna say it ain't no women out there that they ain't got no hands. But the vast majority of women is not built for no war. But the average man can learn war. He made us. That's the point. He made us for each other, and we benefit each other in our proper order. When we st when we mess up is when we get out of order, and that's why our communities are jacked up today because we are out of order, sis. Give me that Matthew 26. We gotta get ready to go, but we gonna be out here often. Now, I don't know if y'all seen it already, but we are out here very often because we need our people to wake up. The world is ending around this. Hurricanes happening. There's uh, fires in places with Arctic weather happening. There's uh, earthquakes. There's uh, tsunamis. What's what's going on in the uh, Afghanistan right now, what about the, the floods and the, the hurricanes? But it, the world, is, uh, there's a uh, famine, you know what I'm saying, in, in lands, there's a uh, pestilence and COVID-19. What you think right. about that? What, what, do I think? what do I think about, real quick, uh, Deuteronomy 20 and verse 61. Louisiana just got hit. Yeah, Louisiana, I, just, I was just watching it today, flooded everywhere. You, 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 you don't understand? We need to, look man, y'all got flyers? I encourage y'all to read those flyers, call that number, and start studying. Look at the website on there and start studying applying this Bible. God is very angry and is judging the planet right now and all of the wicked. Watch, I'm going to show you um, COVID in the Bible. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. COVID-19 written in the Bible? No, that's a curse. God said every sickness and every plague that's not written in his Bible, he gonna bring upon you till you destroy. COVID-19 is one of those things. COVID-19 is one of those things. So that's a curse because we sinned against God. That's, that happens because our sisters wearing pants and our brothers wearing dresses. That happens because instead of marrying each other, we sleeping around. It's an abomination. So guess what we gotta do, sis? Sis, so you gotta so you gotta go home. You need to go to the store tomorrow, buy you a dress, throw a pair of pants away. My brother wearing pants all crazy. I gotta get some fringes on y'all because y'all are these people. I know y'all been accustomed to calling yourselves niggas and negroes and African Americans. You Israelites. Real quick, do the uh, real quick uh uh, what is that? Genesis 32 and 28, and then we're going to get Matthew 26 and we're going to go. I'm going to show you what you are according to the Bible. That's why you're the only people that you don't know what your race is. Everybody don't know, everybody know their race but us. Why? Why? Because your race is the only race on the planet that damn matters. That's it. That's, that's, spoiler alert, that's the, that's the trick. That's why it's so important for you to not know it. Because if you ever know it, the people that took that race from you are going to die because of it. You think we, they don't want they don't want to watch their world and their kingdom in, would you? Would you stand idly by and watch your slaves rise up against you? Wouldn't you fight back too? That's what they're doing. That's why they're creating all these distractions. Right. Oh shit, these niggas waking up. These niggas running out there, Israelites. I gotta I gotta stop them. COVID-19, hurricanes, uh, uh, damn, uh, Cardi B, make a new damn what? You know what I'm saying? That's just distractions to keep you from reading this Bible and waking up. This Bible bears witness with your spirit. You are the most spiritual people on the planet. Right. And the devil just, just, just healed us. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 32 and verse 27. Read. And he said unto him, what is thy name? He asked him, what's your name? Read. And he said, Jacob. Our forefather is Jacob. Why for God tells our forefather Jacob? Read. And he said, thy name shall be, no, shall be called no more Jacob. Read. But Israel, but, what? but Israel, yeah. for as a prince, as a prince, and for you princesses, read, for as a prince has thy power with God and with men and has prevailed. Our power is God. We don't need to stand up and bum rush and, and get guns and stuff. All we got to do is keep the commandments. And guess what? God going to wipe everybody face off the planet for us and make them subject to us. Right. You going to be gods and goddesses. Don't you want to? I tell my sons all the time. Don't you want to? You like to be able Don't you want to fly one day, son? Yeah. Right. Guess what? The Bible said you going to be able to do that and then some one day. Right. And all you got to do is put fringes on. Put a beard on your face. Put on some pants. Sister, put on a dress. That's all you got to do. That's not hard. 
It's just putting on a dress. It's just letting your hair grow. And you'll be a god one day and a goddess one day. Not niggas and negroes. Not bad bees and cardi bees and, and, and real niggas and all this dumb stuff that we call ourselves. That's what we call ourselves. We take more pride in being niggas than we take in being sons of God. The only people that are sons of God, white people call themselves sons of God, but they sons of bastards according to the Bible. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.